Roddy. Go ahead. I can go ahead. Okay. Hey, Jaleel, um, just welcome back to New Orleans, man. Just kind of yeah. talk, talk us through the process of kind of how it came about that you ended up back in, in New Orleans. Uh, honestly, I think it was just, um, you know, um, uh, my uh, I think it was my agent who reached out to Kai. And, um, you know, they had been in communication for a little bit. And um, I think once my agent um, informed me about, you know, going back to the New Orleans Saints, I thought it was, you know, a good opportunity. And, um, you know, I, I jumped on it. You know, I jumped on it. You know, being that I was there <clears throat> last year, beginning of the season, I saw how that team was able to operate. You know, I was able to see the culture of that team. And, um, you know, I thought it would be good for, you know, me just to go back and, you know, just immerse myself in that culture. So, you know, so, yeah. Just a quick follow-up. Um, how much did it help just working with um, – having worked with Dennis Allen and now he's obviously the head coach? You know, I think I think uh, it helped a lot. But, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I really worked more so with uh, Coach Nielsen than I did with uh, Coach Allen at the time. Um, so, you know, I mean, you know, I, I'm excited to be able to go back and, you know, be able to work with Coach Allen and, you know, and Coach Nielsen, Coach Nielsen and those guys. And, you know, like I said, when I was there for um, – at the beginning of the year, you know, um, you know, I, I definitely enjoyed my time with those guys. You know, those, you know, they're great coaches. They know what they're doing. You know, they're, uh, you know, they're very well experienced. You know, so, um, so yeah. John Hendricks. Hey, Jalil, welcome back to New Orleans, man. Um, Thank listen, you. just a question for you. Just as, as a DT interior guy, what do you feel like your strengths are and what you bring to this Saints defensive line? Um. You know, me being, you know, uh, you know, a little bit older, like an older guy now in this league, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think I bring that experience. You know, I think I, I you know, I know what uh, I know what it takes to win in this league. You know, I've been around it for a while. I've seen it firsthand. Um, so, you know, just, you know, me being able to bring, you know, that uh, that level of experience and, you know, just my, uh, you know, just, you know, just, you know, just anything that I can do, you know, to really help this team win. You know, um, like I said, I've been around a, like a lot of guys who who have done a lot of good things in this league. And, uh, you know, I still I, you know, I tend to emulate that. You know, I want to be like those guys who who came before me that I played with. So, um, you know, just being able to go out there and just, you know, just, you know, just give off, you know, just show guys that, you know, I'm an experienced guy in this league. Julio, can you talk a little bit about your time with the Vikings, obviously you all had a lot of battles with the Saints and specifically the playing in the Superdome in front of those fans, just talking about kind of the impact they had on the game. Mm -hmm. um, wow. So I know, uh, you know, we've had a lot of good, uh, a lot of good games against the Saints. Um, <clears throat> uh, going back to the Minneapolis Miracle, that was probably one of my, my personally, one of my favorite games against the Saints. Um, it was uh, my rookie year. Um, you know, and I, you know, every time we've played the Saints, you know, it's always been, it's always been a hard fought game. You know, it was never an easy game. You know, uh, Coach Payton, you know, at the time he was, uh, you know, he definitely got, he definitely got that team ready to play. Um, but you know, it, it, it was, it was always, uh, you know, it was always an enjoyable game. You know, it was always good to go out and compete, you know, against one of the best teams in this league. Um, you know, Drew Brees and Michael Thomas and guys of, you know, guys of that caliber, you know, it was always, you know, it was always a good, tough, competitive time whenever we played, when we played the New Orleans Saints. Can you talk a little bit? I know, obviously, you, you had a brief stint here last year, but just the relationships that that D-line room has and kind of the close-knit group that they are. Yeah, uh, so, you know, again, me being, I was only there for, I think, like a couple of weeks. You know, but just seeing how those guys bonded, you know, just seeing how those guys gel together, um, you know, even when I got there, you know, just seeing how they just embraced me and, you know, into that brotherhood, into that room, um, you know, I, I, you know, I greatly appreciated that, you know, those guys are, a, you know, a really hardworking group, um, you know, so uh, that's one of the things that I'm very, very excited for being able to get back in, you know, just being able to you know, just immerse myself in that group and, you know, being able to go to work with those guys. And correct me if I'm wrong, but with Hurricane Ida, were you in New Orleans or did you evacuate with the team to Dallas? Uh, yeah, I was, I was in Dallas. I was in Dallas. 
what, what was that kind of like for you, Jalil, just that whole experience? I mean, and then being a little bit of time with the Saints and then going to the Texans and all the wake of the hurricane. Um, you know, honestly, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I took it for what it was, you know, um, you know, I was able to go down there. I know, I know we were in Dallas. We were, uh, we were in the hotel. That's in the hotel, you know, but, you know, I took it for what it was, you know, I went down there, I, I worked, you know, I was, you know, I, you know, was a part of the team and, you know, I didn't really, you know, but it was a lot, you know, um, you know, so, but, uh, you know, being able, you know, flying that because being in Houston, it's only like a 20 minute flight. So, you know, flying down there and, you know, being a part of the team and then having to fly back. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, I didn't really, you know, it didn't really bother me as much. You know, like I said, I, just, I took it for what it was, you know, um, you know, I still enjoyed my time. I still enjoyed being able to, you know, be a part of that team and, you know, just being all a part of that process. Anything else for Jaleel? I think that's it, man. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thanks, Jaleel. Thanks, Jaleel. Have a good day, man. Thank you.